guys, Matt Beck, FreeSalonEducation.com. I'm here with tip number two, and this tip is all about how to use the scissor. So I wanna show you a little exercise that I like to do that helps me just move the one blade. That's the key thing that you gotta learn after you know what your comb's about, you know what your scissors are all about, you gotta know how to work this thing before you even touch hair. So let's take it out. What, what I like to do is just hold it in my hand nice and firm, let go of my thumb so I keep the scissor steady. As soon as I can keep that scissor steady and I got the grip on there, so basically what I'm doing is pushing down with my pinky, that's what this thing's for, a lot of people don't know that. Push that down and push it up against my pointer finger. So that's gonna keep it nice and steady. Then what I'm gonna do is flip my hand over and I can add my thumb in and just move the one blade. So once I get that, this is a great exercise for you to do just sitting in front of the TV. Any, anywhere that you are, stay away from the kids, but just work your scissor, move that one thumb and work it. I honestly, when I was in beauty school, I bought a huge pair of metal scissors that I would use and I would just sit on the couch because I didn't want to ruin my good scissors. Um, so I would sit on the couch with these big metal scissors almost like I was doing a workout. But you know, that's what builds up the muscle. It's a muscle memory that you gotta build up in your hand. And then as soon as you have that, it's hard to even cut differently. So just work on moving that one blade and practice it in different ways. So there's gonna be different situations on top of your hand like this, right? And there's gonna be palm to palm and then cutting, um, point cutting. So all these different ways. So practice that, palm it. Get your comb in your hand, work through here. So comb, cut, comb, cut. Get good at that. If you can't do this quickly, then you're not gonna be able to cut hair quickly, efficiently, and it's not gonna look like it flows together. So if you wanna get great at hair cutting, you wanna really work on these fine little details. This is what makes you great at hair cutting, is practicing these little things, and then we need to understand it. So step by step, work through it, practice all these different movements, and you'll be good to go. We'll go talk about point cutting and all of that in a different video, but just practice the movement of it and make sure that you're only moving that one blade as you cut hair. Thank you guys, hope you enjoyed this tip. Subscribe to us on YouTube so you can follow each and every tip that we create, and we'll see you guys on the next video, thanks.